Good. I, uh, sorry, I just got here from Edmonton, and I, uh, it's a tough time trying to find a parking space here in downtown, <laughs> especially around this area with all the events that's, that are taking place and the constructions, and the, so, uh, so I've been uh, circling around the building for uh, at least 15 minutes. Uh, but finally, uh, I guess I'm here, and good evening to each and every one of you. It's indeed a pleasure and an honor for me to be here on behalf of the uh, Premier, uh, Premier Redford, and all my colleagues at the Alberta Legislature. You. you know, when, uh, when I got the invitation, I, I thought uh, you might be a little disappointed, because I, uh, I heard that part of my presence here today is to inspire you, but uh, from what I've read and heard about the uh, participants, it is me who is going to be inspired by each and every one of you. But I, uh, it takes a great deal, really, it takes a great deal to release your words onto paper, and even more bravery to reveal them onto others. This is particularly true when speaking about experiences in your life that have been difficult or painful. Yet this is exactly what many of you are doing. And although it is true that you are participating in a competition, I feel each of you has already won. What I have always believed is that if you try, then you have succeeded. You may never win a competition today, or you may never win today, and you may never win a competition ever. But the fact that you were brave enough to stand up and speak about things that matter to you is in itself a tremendous victory. The success is in your ability to act on your inspiration. So few people can do this, and so to me the fact that you are here today sharing your deep and personal poetry with us demonstrates great character and leadership far beyond your years. For, for this reason, it is I who is inspired by all of you. I would like to thank Any Diversity for all the incredible work that they do to help new immigrants not only settle into their new lives here in Alberta, but to embrace them. I would also like to express my appreciation to the Calgary Public Library for their support in making events like these a reality. Together, your efforts are helping the Alberta government to achieve our vision of fostering vibrant and inclusive communities where people feel a sense of pride and belonging. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to be here. And I just want to deviate a little bit from my text here and talk to you about my own personal story. As an immigrant, when I, when I decided to move and live in the best country in the world, you know, I really had to think so deep and hard. Because it's not easy for a new immigrant, for a, a young person to, to leave his family or her family, to leave their friends, to leave their country of birth and move to a new place where everything, everything is foreign, everything is new, everything is strange, every, even the weather, you know, and many of us have uh, never seen this kind of weather, you know, that we have here during the winter. But I'll tell you, this is... This is a choice that we made. We made at our own, nobody forced, forced us to do that. And it is the best decision that we have ever made in our lives. You know, when I came to this, to this country, it was tough. When I came to this country, I did not speak a word of English. That's why I always say, in this country, the skies are the limits. Today, I am speaking to you on behalf of your government, and I can see no reason why not each and every one of you, if you work hard, if you're committed to yourself, your family, 
your country, you will do whatever you can, you want to do in this country. You know, Canada is not a, only that huge piece of land that stretches from sea to sea to sea. It's not only a great lakes and beautiful Rocky Mountains. Canada is a proud nation, proud of its people, their ethnic mix, and their cultural diversity, and I see it every day. You know, when I visit the school in my writing, and I ask the teachers, and uh, that's the writing of Calgary East, and I know many of your the people present here know that, that I represent a very diverse writing, and I ask the principals and the teachers as to how many languages they have in that school. They tell me they have 84 different languages. So that means, ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is here, this nation is a united nation. And the beauty about all of this, that we all live together, work together, study together, play together, and respect each other. And it is, upon, it is incumbent upon all of us to keep it that way and keep Canada as the best country in the world. Thank you very much for having me here tonight.